So in this demo, I'm going to show you how to add DNS and configure DNS by using PowerShell. Now, as you can see, we're on a Windows server that has the GUI, or has the graphical user interface. The reason you're probably going to use PowerShell, I mean, you could use it on the GUI side, but for a lot of IT people, the reason that they learn, play with, and install stuff using PowerShell is because you're going to be doing that on non-GUI-based systems. The reason I'm showing this on a GUI-based system instead of like server core is because after I'm done showing it to you, I want to be able to go into DNS, go into the DNS manager, and show you everything that we've done. So let's go ahead and let's jump out onto our server, and I'll show you a couple things real quick before we do the installation of DNS. Now, first off, we're going to check to see if DNS manager is even on this. So we're going to go to Windows Explorer, and you'll notice there is no DNS manager. Now, just because there's no DNS manager does not mean that DNS is not installed on this. Not at all. You can install DNS onto a server without putting the management tools on the server. So I'm going to show you how to check in PowerShell to just verify that DNS isn't there. But we know that the DNS manager is at least not here. So let's go ahead and let's open up our PowerShell. You always want to make sure that you run PowerShell as an administrator. You want to make sure that you see this administrator. And you can do that by right-clicking and say run as administrator. And then finally, when you first start using PowerShell, the very first thing that you want to make sure that you do is update-help. This is going to update your help. It's going to make sure that PowerShell has all of the current stuff that you need it to have. So that is something that you're always going to, going to want to do when you first start using PowerShell. I use this PowerShell. Update help has already been done, so we don't need to run that command. All right, so now what we're going to do is we want to see if DNS is installed on this server. And the way that you view something through DNS, it's always using the get command. Just think of the word get as the same as view. So what we want to do is we want to run get windows feature. Now here's a cool trick if you've never seen this before. As you start typing, all right, as you start typing, you can hit the tab key and it will finish the typing for you. So if you're one of those people that you worry about, well, I don't like using PowerShell because, you know, I fat finger stuff, I misspell stuff. You can literally just start typing out commands and then hit the tab key and it'll finish the command for you. So we want to see if there are any Windows features on here that have DNS in the name. So I'm going to use star DNS star. That's a wild card. So it's going to show me anything on this box with the letters DNS in there, and it'll show me if those things are installed or not. So I'll hit enter. And as you can see, DNS is not installed, because when it is, you'll see a little X inside these boxes. So DNS has not been installed. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to install DNS. And the way you do that is you can run either the add Windows feature or install Windows feature. Believe it or not, when you do an add Windows feature, you're literally just doing an install Windows feature. Add Windows feature is an alias for install Windows feature. So you can go either way. So we'll go ahead and we'll just say install. Windows F, and again, I'll hit the tab, so it finishes it for me. And you know if you hit the tab and it doesn't finish it for you, something's wrong. You've either started misspelling it or there's an issue. So we're going to install the Windows feature. The name of it is DNS. It shows it right here. The name is DNS. So that's what we're going to put in. We're going to say name, and it's going to be DNS. And then what I want to do is... On this particular box, I want to install the management tools so that I can show you DNS from the DNS manager after I'm done. So I'm going to go ahead and tell it to include the management tools. 
And I'm going to say M-A-N-A -A and just hit tab and finish the command. So at this point, I'm saying install the Windows feature of DNS and include the management tools. And that's all you got to do. And when I hit enter, it'll either come back with a success or it'll come back with a red error. So let's hit enter. Now, that's the really nice thing about PowerShell. If you mess something up, it just gives you a red error. It's not going to cause any issues. It's not going to cause you to have any problems. It'll just give you an error. You read the error, try to figure out what you did wrong, and run the command again. So there's no reason whatsoever to be nervous when you're running commands through PowerShell. One of the things that I always tell people when I'm teaching people about PowerShell is I use PowerShell for just my normal commands that I would run in the command prompt. For example, if I want to do a ping, I do it in PowerShell. If I want to do an IP config, I do it in PowerShell. The reason why I tell people to start doing that is because that will get you more and more comfortable inside the PowerShell environment. I know if you've never used this before, it can be a very uncomfortable environment. So start using it for all of your day-to-day -day stuff, your pings, your IP configs, all right? Any type of network setup that you do. And this way, you just get more and more used to being inside that environment. So as you can see, DNS successfully installed. I don't need to restart. Now if I want, I can run that Get Windows feature again. And it should now show an X next to DNS. And it should also show it next to the, the tools. So as you can see, I have DNS is now installed and the tools are installed. So if I open up the DNS manager just to show it, just to prove where we're at. So I'll open up the DNS manager right here. There should be nothing inside of the DNS manager all right, there should be no zones, there should be nothing in there. The only thing that should be there is just the basic installation of DNS. It's running a little slower. Microsoft has started some services now where it, it tries to go out and connect to Microsoft and check on updates. It's the update service. And it's, it's actually called the Windows Installer Service. When that kicks off on your box, it slows your server down. Normally, you'll never know that unless you're working on your servers a lot. As you can see, when you click on something and it doesn't respond immediately, then most of the time, I've noticed on these servers, that's what's running at the time. It only runs for a few minutes and then it stops, so it's not a big deal. But So if I click on DNS here and I open it, expand this out, you'll see that I have no zones. There are no forward lookup zones. So instead of saying add zone here, I'm gonna do it through PowerShell, just to continue on with this, to show how everything is done in PowerShell for DNS. So I'm gonna do a CLS that clears the screen. And now what I need to do is I'm gonna set up a primary zone. And the command to do that is just add DNS server primary zone. So it's gonna be DNS server start P for primary zone and I'll hit tab and I'll let it finish it out for me. And then I got to put in what the name of the zone is going to be and I'm going to name this zone stormwindad.com because when I add Active Directory to this box, I'm going to make the domain the for stormwindad.com. So I'm going to go ahead and set up my zone to be the same thing right from the get-go. So it's going to be stormwindad.com. And then what I got to do is because this is a standard zone, okay, just a primary zone, I'm going to set up the zone file. So what I'll do is I'll type in the zone file. All right, hit tab. And then what the name of my zone file is going to be. And I'm going to name my zone file, stormandad.com.dns. Your zone files are normally the same name as your zone name, just with .dns on the end of it. Okay. Now I can also let this zone start accepting 
dynamic updates. Dynamic updates mean that the zone, the clients can check in with DNS on their own, and the zone can build its own records because you're going to accept dynamic updates. Now, because this machine is not running Active Directory yet, I can't make the zone Active Directory integrated, so I can't accept just secure updates. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna allow it to accept updates, but I have to tell it to accept all updates, non-secure and secure. So the way that I do that is I'm gonna do dash and it's dynamic update, and I'm gonna hit tab again, let it finish out the command for me, and then I'm gonna do a space and then I'm going to type in non-secure and secure. Non-SEC, and I'm just going to hit tab and let it finish it for me. So now I'm going to accept all updates, non-secure and secure updates. So at this point, I'm going to hit enter. Now, if it just goes back to a PowerShell prompt, it worked. If you get an error, it didn't work. That's how you know. So we're just going to hit enter. And since I went back to a PowerShell prompt, it worked. So if I open up DNS again, and I expand my forward lookup zone, there's my Stormwind AED. There it is right there. That's the file I just created, the zone. And I can show you that the file is called stormwindad.com.dns by going to the Windows System32 directory. So, I'm going to go on to the C, Windows, System32, DNS, right here, DNS, and you'll see there's my zone file. So, my zone got created, and it created my zone file. Now, finally, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to add a record to the DNS zone by using just PowerShell. And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna run the add DNS server resource record. It's a long one, and you have to put in the record type. So I'm just gonna say DNS server, and I'm gonna say RES for resource record. And I'm just gonna hit tab. Now it comes out, I need it to be a resource record A. It's gotta be the A, so I'm gonna hit tab again. And there it is. So I'm going to add an A record to the zone. And the name of this machine is client123. I'm just showing you. I'm putting in a bogus client. I don't have a client named 123, but that's going to be the name of our bogus machine. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I want this added to the zone name of stormwindad. Com. So I'm going to add it to that zone. That was the name of our zone. Then I'm going to tell this record that I'm going to allow this record to be updated. So if client123 happens to come online and it has a different IP address than the one I'm issuing it now, it will allow this record to be updated. So I'm going to allow the updates for this. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it what the IP address is. So this is an IPv4 address. And the address is 192.168.0.150. I'm just picking an IP address just to show you. And that's all I need to do. And at that point, I'm going to hit enter. It went back to a PowerShell prompt. So that means that it worked. So let's go ahead and let's open up DNS for one final time. Let's go to our forward lookup zone. Let's click on Stormwind. And now I have a record for client 123. And it is an A record, a host record. So you have the ability by installing DNS, configuring DNS, and managing DNS all by using PowerShell. So I hope this demo makes it real easy for you to put DNS onto servers that don't have a GUI available. This way you can add DNS to server core systems or any type of server 
where you can't easily manage it through the GUI interface. Thanks for watching.